This After Effects tutorial is made possible by ArtBeatsExpress.com. Create a free ArtBeats Express account today and receive free high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Content includes footages, images, After Effects templates, sound effects and more. Click the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nickel from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to create this really cool looking cinematic logo reveal into After Effects. So, I will be using Trapcode Particular for creating those dust elements that you see on the background. So yeah, for those guys who don't have Trapcode have already pre-rendered the dust elements so you can use them as stock footage while creating this logo reveal so the link will be in the description below you can go and download it and get back to this video so with that said let's get straight into the tutorial and get started all right so first of all i'm gonna go and create a new composition that is 1960 into 540 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough now you can keep it at 1920 into 1080 that is the full hd resolution but just for tutorial's sake and for things to keep on moving faster without any lags, I'm going to keep it at half HD resolution. And let's rename our main composition as the main comp and hit OK. Then let's create a new composition for our logo. So I'm going to name this as logo and keep the width and height to 200 pixels. Then I'm going to go and drag my logo into the logo composition and let's just scale this down like so then go to the main comp and drag in our logo composition into that so now we have it so let's just make this 3d then i want to you know add a texture to our logo to make it look really nice and cinematic feel to it to give it that really nice and cinematic feel so here i have a metal texture i'll put the link in the description so you can go and download the texture as well so I'm going to just drag the texture above our logo comp like so and let's scale this down so that it fits our logo. So let's just put this at 10% should be good enough and make it 3D. Then I'm going to change the logo track mat to luma mat. So now we have this really nice texture for our logo. Now you can do some pretty quick adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the metal texture and pretty quickly add some curves to it and enhance the colors a bit. Just really quick some basic adjustment just to make it look really nice. Maybe I'll just increase the reds a bit and the blues as well. Just like so. Looks pretty cool. Yep, that is looking perfect to me. Then let's add a camera. So I'm going to create a new camera and keep the preset to 35 millimeters and hit OK. And create a new null object and you know make this null object as our camera control. So let's just rename this to camera control. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit A to bring down the anchor point properties and I'm going to keep this at 50 and this to 50 as well so the null object is exactly in the center then i'm gonna make this 3d and parent our camera to the null object so now we can animate the position of the null and the camera is gonna you know the camera is gonna animate so i'm gonna go to seven seconds create a keyframe on the position go back to zero and you know zoom the camera 
to minus 250. So we have this really nice camera animation, really subtle and simple. Alright, so now we need to add a 3D light to our com. So I'm going to right click, create a new light, make sure it's a spotlight and I'm going to leave the settings to default. Hit OK. And then I'm going to try to place it in the center like so. Let's drag it in right over there. And just a bit of bow and just bring this down like so. Right over there. Now we can animate it. So it's going to get revealed like so. Need to animate the light actually. So let's increase the intensity maybe a little bit to 120. And go to 6 seconds. Maybe I'll just, you know, increase the cone feather as well. So I'm going to set this to 80%. Then I'm going to go to transform properties and I'm going to keyframe the pin point of interest and the position. Go to very beginning of the composition and let's bring this down. Make sure your logo gets completely black out and it's not visible through the light. Like so. So now as the camera animates and the light animates you can see it creates a really nice and subtle logo reveal. It gives that feeling that our logo is coming into the light. So it looks really nice, you know. So we can go ahead and easy ease our keyframe. And that is looking really nice. Really simple and really easy. Yeah, that is looking pretty cool. Maybe I'll just, you know, bring down the position of the camera to minus 200. Then let's pretty quickly, I'm going to add a background. So I'm just going to name this BG. Now let's add that dust elements to our logo reveal. So to create that I'm going to create a new composition and name this particles and hit OK. Oh, We need to change the composition size to 1960 by 540 because that is the size of our main comp. Then I'm going to hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid and let's name this particles. Then go to effect trap code and trap code particular so there we have it really nice particles getting straight to it I'm gonna bring down the particles per second to let's say 25 I need very little particles so I'm gonna set this to 25 then I'm gonna change the emitter type to box bring down the velocity to 30 maybe bring the velocity randomness to 0 distributions to 0 and the motion to 0 as well then I'm going to increase the emitter size X to 1000 and Y to 1000 as well. So we have something like that. Let's go close this up then go to particle. Increase the life per second to 5 seconds. And increase the sphere of feather all the way up. The size to around let's say 2 should look good. Then go to size randomness and I'm going to keep this at 20 or maybe 30 looks good. Then go to size over life and I'm going to select a preset like so. It looks really nice. Kind of a snowy feel to it. Then let's go to opacity over life and select the same preset. So uh, particles you know are really nice and are getting animated really smoothly. Then we need to go to the physics tab and the air tab and the turbulence field. 
So now I'm going to increase the effect position of the turbulence field to 150. So we get this really nice randomness to this thing. And then we need to increase the wind exposition to let's say 250. So it's going to give that really nice windy feel to our particles in one direction. So now I can just, you know, drag this just right over there and give a little bit of Y wind to maybe 15% like so and that is looking really nice. Yep, that looks pretty good, but not quite there yet. So now I'm going to go into particles and change the color to something like a gray. Then I'm going to go into render settings and motion blur and turn this on and increase the shutter angle to 700 and this is going to give that really nice and realistic looking particle feel to this thing. As you can see it looks really natural right now. Now you can go and increase the particles if you want to and create some really nice and you know realistic looking more dense particles but I'm going to keep this at 25 because I want to keep it very subtle. So let's drag in our particles comp into our main comp. So there we have it looks pretty nice. So far so good. Now we can go ahead and enhance this thing by adding some optical flares. So I'm going to hit control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid and let's just name this OP for optical flares. Then go to effect, video copilot and optical flares. Then I'm going to make this transparent, go to options and we don't need all this. So I'm going to clear this all and just add the glow. That's all we need. So now you can see we get this really awkward color bendings. So to fix this, what you can do is you can just switch to 16 bit. And yeah, it's still there, but we're going to fix this a bit later. So for now, I'm just going to drag this right over there. Now it's not mandatory to use optical flares, but you know, just to enhance it, I'm going to use it and give a really nice kind of an orange color to this thing like so Maybe a bit darker and it okay then i'm gonna hit ctrl d to duplicate it and just move this to this corner and make this blue just like so and hit okay So we still have those really this horrible color bending so we can add some grain to fix this thing so what I'm going to do is pretty quickly I'm going to add a new solid make sure it's black and let's just name this grain and then I'm going to add an effect called add grain and by the way I'm using the free plugin from video copilot that is the effects console to you know increase the workflow so in case if you don't have it you can just go into effects and preset and just type in add grain. Now all we need to do is set this on final output and switch the blend mode to screen and set everything or not everything I mean the intensity to 0 0.050 the size to same the softness and the aspect ratio everything to 0.050 like so so it may it will help you to get rid of this bendings now due to the screen recorder you can see some color bendings but when you do it you know you'll actually notice that all the bendings have gone you know it just cause of the screen recorder it compresses the video and that's almost it let's add a really quick animation to optical flares so I'm gonna go to four seconds Create a keyframe on the brightness, go back to 0 and set this to 10. Then let's just copy this keyframes by Ctrl V, select the second optical flares layer, 
and hit Ctrl V to paste it. So we have a simple little brightness animation so it you know it starts to glow up as the logo gets revealed you get it right like so now pretty quickly i'm going to do a, a little bit of color adjustment so let's add some curves so i'm going to type in select the layer and type in curves do a bit of color adjustments to enhance the look of the overall scene just increase the reds and the blues just to give that really nice look to it so as you can see it looks really nice and really simple to create now you can also use text so you know you can just bring the logo you can scale down the logo a bit let's move this right over there let's add some text pretty quick so um, let's type in just logo I can't, I can't think of anything right now so this logo just put it in the center and now we have our text and our logo this just looks really nice so yep that's all it for today and soon I will be posting the project file of this complete tutorial on patreon so make sure you support me there so you know you can download all my tutorial projects files all my previous tutorial projects file on patreon by just donating one dollar so please do support me on patreon it will help me a lot so you know to create this kind of really good tutorials and yeah so yeah i hope you learned something new today and if you did don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative